about vibrato on the double bass. The vibrato is just oscillation of the note, varying from the pitch of the note up and down and back. And it can be varied by two things, the width of the vibrato and also its speed. And those two things relate to the pitch of the note. Vibrato is an add-on. You want to keep all your basics, you know, sound, left hand spacing and shape, great shifting, good connection with your bow. It's a bit like having great ingredients for a meal. You may have all the great ingredients, but it's how you combine them. And then you might want to add a special flavor or sauce, like Bernays sauce, to add something extra to the meal. So vibrato is like that. It adds color, it adds depth, it adds a certain quality, but it's no replacement for good intonation and great sound with the bow. The lowest string on the double bass, E, vibrates at around 42 hertz per second, vibrations per second. And the top string, the G, is around 91 vibrations per second or hertz. And of course, when we're choosing a vibrato, we have to match those two things. So if we've got a very slow note, if we set up a vibrato that's much faster than that, it creates tension and almost a feeling of dissonance. But how do we start vibrato? So I'd start off doing big movements. Like you're polishing the string. position just lightly on the surface and have the balance of the hand around the finger you want. So for example you could do second finger or just on its own or with the others there and using the same muscles. Really aiming to keep our shoulder free. the string, keeping light finger pressure and hardly anything from the thumb, polishing the base and seeing what the big muscles do. One of the qualities that we need to have in our body is being really relaxed so that we can move freely from the shoulder and then also the elbow needs to be very mobile as well and we're concentrating on keeping this shape here. As you Increase your speed, just generally narrowing until you stick the finger on one spot and that causes our vibrato to have a pitch. It's a matter of subjective taste. It might be like Marmite. Some people hate your vibrato, other people love it. <laughs> Number one for me is the musical context. And that's informed by the period of the music, maybe in early Baroque music when they had frets, it was much more difficult to vibrate. So. Whereas later, in maybe Rachmaninoff, to be discernible pitch at all times. Vibrato isn't a cure for poor intonation, so you've got to have the right note and the right quality of sound and then add vibrato to that. The two variables we play with are the width of the vibrato. So when it's lower down, Maybe wider. And a 
according also to the pitch of the note. So very low number of vibrations per second. And then 